Why are you bugging? What's going on detailers? Today I'm going to show you how to restore your headlights with a toolkit that you can get from Walmart and a house battery operated drill. So stay tuned. You're not going to want to miss this episode. Let's get it. Yes, detail. What's going on detailers? Ellie with Detailing Solutions back again with another video. This time we're going to delve into how to restore your headlamps using a toolkit that you can get from Walmart. So just like before, laid out before you is a few items that you can use, um, all that you can again get from a department store, and we're going to be using the Mother Headlight Restoration Kit for this project. And we're going to be using the Car Beauty Pro Heavy Cutter and the DeWalt High Speed Buffer for the finishing touches. And of course, all of these items will be linked in the description below. Okay, so while we look at a few of these before shots, I want to mention something. Full disclosure, all of your headlamps are not created equal. So what that means is some are going to require a little bit more attention, a little bit more buffing, or maybe even an entirely different process altogether to get them looking like new again. Okay guys, so without making this video so wordy like uh, my other videos, um, I want to try to cut to the, the chase. So um, basically what I'm doing is taping off the edges and that's what you're going to want to do because we're using a high speed uh, sanding uh, mechanism and also the buffer and we don't want to scratch up the edges of the paint. Okay, so after the area has been taped off, you're going to want to take a hand mitt or a wash rag and clean off the surface area before we start the wet sand. Okay, so as I mentioned in the introduction, I'm going to be using a DeWalt battery operated house drill and I'm going to attach the bit that comes with the headlight restoration kit. And we're going to start with an 800 grit sandpaper, which is the first step to restoring your headlamps. Now I'm going to, instead of using water, which is what they recommend, I recommend using a spray wax. And this isn't going to make a lot of sense, but spray wax is wetter than water. And that's pretty much the best way I can explain it. It, um, it stays wet longer on the surface area than water. Water is a little drier than, you get the point. Bottom line is you use the spray wax, it will bode you a lot well um, or a lot better than using just water. Now this is this the haze that you see after step one, which is normal, and that haze will start to um, dissipate. Maybe I can use that word. Um, lessen is an easier word. Uh, after you know the higher the grit, you'll notice less and less of a haze as we go. And this is a 1500 grit sandpaper, which again is the next step. And second verse, same as the first, we're going to spray it with the uh, spray wax. And we're going to, so you can't see in the fast motion, but it, it, you want to go in the back and forth motion. Um, as the uh, sandpaper is spinning, you're going in the back and forth motion. So you're sort of covering uh, all of the surface area and in, in between the cracks and layers. And as you see, I also periodically I spray uh, spray wax again because you want to keep the, the area, the whole point of wet sanding is you want to keep the area wet. So um, that's the reason for that. Now 
Now I'm drawing it after every step, and the reason for that is, uh, this is after step two, but again, the reason for that is uh, you want to wipe off all the debris and, and, uh, and the dirt and grit that you just sanded off prior to. Now this is a 3000 grit sandpaper, which also comes in the kit. You just want to take off the 1500, put on the 3000. And again, same process. You spray with the spray wax. And if you don't have that, you can use water, but the spray wax, spray wax is a lot easier. Now right here I'm just going to show you if in fact you don't have a drill and believe it or not I did tons of headlights like this you can do it by hand um, and I'm taking the 3000 grit because that's the step we're on and you, you can even see how the, you're starting to be able to see that haze go away uh, even more but you can use all these steps with with your hand it's a little harder obviously but um, if you don't have a drill you can do it by hand and this is after the third step now, of course, there's still a haze because we haven't polished yet, but this is where the magic happens. This is the Powerball foam polisher that also comes with the kit. And the Power Plastic for Lights uh, by Mothers. And you want to put about a quarter size on the, uh, on the Powerball. And I usually rub it in first before I start spinning to uh, cut down on some of that spin off. but. Now I'm switching to the big boy here because the power ball with the drill just isn't powerful enough for me. And I'm showing you the different settings you want to go. Uh, you want to start on six and then you can ramp it up to a thousand. And this again is that ultimate pro cutter by Car Beauty. Um, the link will again be in the description. But you want to follow the same process. Just about a, put about a quarter amount on the foam there. And you want to rub it back and forth to cut down on some of the spin off and then go to town. And if you look close enough, you'll really see that haze just starting to fade away. And that's exactly what you want. Alright guys, I'm going to shut up now and let you uh, guys enjoy the rest of the video. Thanks for watching and I'll check back in before we close out. Alright guys, so there you have it, an easy three-step process with a do-it-yourself kit that you can get from your local department store. So as always, tune in next time and don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, where there's a problem, there's a detailing solution. Thanks for watching and make it a great day. Why are you bugging? What's going on detailers? Today I'm going to show you how to restore your headlight using a new lens mother's store kit. What's, What's going on detailers? Today I'm going to show you how to restore your headlight with a tool kit that you can get from Walmart 
and a battery operated power ah, Why is this so hard? Headlights using a new ah. So hard. Bonjour, 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 bonjour